Hey everybody, Gus here. Welcome to the Roommate Cooking Show, where we make food and dishes that apparently our roommates just want to leave around the house. Josh. So let's take a look at some of the recipes that we're going to be cooking today. First, a word from our sponsor. Swagbucks is a cool site where you can earn rewards like Amazon gift cards and lots of other gift cards and cash too. We take surveys, you can use it as a search engine, save up and buy some stuff. I actually used Swagbucks in high school and I got myself a TV that I still use today. If you sign up today, you get a $5 sign up bonus. Click the link in the description to check it out. It's a really cool website. Now let's cook some food for our roommates. So our first recipe today is millimeter milk. What you're gonna wanna do for millimeter milk is use all of the milk. Just use it all. Look at that, just about done. Perfect, and whoop, hold up there. See that last little millimeter of milk in there? Doesn't count as the milk being gone. That means you don't have to clean it and throw away the jug. You can just snap it right back in the fridge. Perfect for any unsuspecting victim to just come in and use the goddamn milk. Josh! Next recipe. Next up, we're gonna be cooking a little side dish, cereal dust. So you're gonna take the communal cereal, open it up, go ahead and take the cereal, fill yourself a bunch of bowls of cereal, stop right there. You're gonna wanna leave that last third in the bottom of the bag. Now is when you take it out and you just smash the shit out of the rest of the fucking cereal. Just like so. Perfect. Now you're left with an utterly inedible mess of dust. Should you throw this away? Nope. You're gonna wanna stick this back in the cereal box, put it back in the cupboard, so that the next guy that comes around to use the cereal is just dust. It's just dust, can't eat that. We put it in the cupboard anyway. Josh, yeah. Next up, we've got ketchup chips. What are ketchup chips, you ask? Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is just get a bottle of ketchup, use it like you normally would. Look at this, beautiful sandwich. You're gonna apply your ketchup just like so. Fantastic. But when you're done, be sure not to leave a perfectly clean little ketchup hole like that. That would be foolish. You're gonna wanna take the ketchup and dip the cap completely in the stupid shit. Just like so, look at that coat right there. This is gonna be fantastic, but it's not ready to eat yet. Do you wanna wipe this off? Well, forget it. You're gonna wanna take the cap and just close it back on perfectly. Look at that, oozing over the sides, great. Who wouldn't wanna eat that, Josh? Who wouldn't wanna eat that? Seriously, I ask you this. I'm just gonna wanna put it back in the fridge, because I guess that's what you do. Put it right by, by the millimeter milk. Those will go hand in hand, won't they? Huh? There's already like 10 bottles. Josh, there's already like, why do we have 10 bottles of ketchup? Why? Why do we have that though? Anyone can use the ketchup, it's 85 cents a bottle. Next recipe. Okay, our next gourmet recipe is called crummy butter. What you're gonna wanna do is come over to the pantry, take, look at this absolutely pristine dish of butter. You can put this on anything, soup, bread, whatever. What you're gonna wanna do with this pristine thing of butter is take your toast, put a little bit of butter on, just like so. Look how nice and politely I'm just applying the butter. There, Oop, make sure to do it right over the butter itself. Look at that dish. Every time you dip the knife back in, get more crumbs on the butter than butter on the crumbs. You hear that, Josh? Put entire hunks of bread in. Why not? Why wouldn't you wanna just find whole entire chunks of bread in your butter dish? We're civilized society, Josh. Look at that. Basically our final product. This is gonna sit really nicely. Are you gonna wanna clean up these crumbs at all? <laughs> not one damn bit, Josh, not one bit. You're gonna wanna put it right back in the cupboard, just like so. <laughs> why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you though, honestly? Like, why would you not? Um, oh. All right, sticking with the condiments theme, we're going into our final dish of the day, which is side swipe peanut butter. Now, with side swipe peanut butter, what you're gonna wanna do is make yourself a goddamn peanut butter sandwich. Get a nice amount of peanut butter. Oh, but what's this? Too much peanut butter? You're unable to gauge how much a usual human being can put on their sandwich? Too much? Well, you can't eat that much. That's like 600 calories. Well, no other choice but to wipe the rest of the peanut butter on the inside rim just like so, Josh. But don't stop there. Make sure you get it right in the threads, too. You're gonna wanna really know that when you put that cap back on, it's just gonna extrude everywhere. The next innocent person that's gonna come in for the peanut butter is gonna stick their knife in and, whoops, I got some peanut butter on my on my hand here. Perfect, where's that cap? Let's get this cap in here. And again, as with our other dishes, right back in the cupboard from whence it came. <laughs> oh God, Josh. Oh, I'm glad we live together, buddy. <laughs> All right, that brings us to the end of our show today. Special thanks to Swagbucks for sponsoring this episode. Tune in next week while we go over simple-ass household chores that are not dispersed equally among the roommates. Like, vacuuming the living room once every two weeks is not hard, Josh. I just do the dishes every day. Josh! <laughs>